and he was famous because he was the found, one of the founders of French Impressionist painting. He painted his most famous paintings with very little eyesight. So the Tashi started this year eight art class with a look at two disabled artists. We also looked at a contemporary artist, which is Alison Lapper, who has been on the television in recent years. And I think that's quite important, actually, to raise awareness that there are artists out there working today who do have impairment and they're able to achieve outstanding work. Realistic. Hands up if you think it looks realistic. Tashi followed this by asking the students to draw a personal response to a painting by another disabled artist, Vincent van Gogh. As soon as you've got your blindfolds on, you can start. So you need to encourage students to think about their own sense of vision and touch and some of the barriers disabled artists encounter, Tashi asked the students to continue the drawing, firstly while wearing a blindfold and then by guiding another student's hand. What did you notice about what you've just done? That, um, that actually the one we did one what we were not seeing is actually better than the one that you we think were yours seeing. is better? Yeah. Why? Because um, maybe because when we're seeing we think we can do we know what we're doing, but when we when we can't see we're a bit more precise because we want to get it right. I think it was a really successful lesson in raising that awareness and also encouraging their own um, sort of sense of achievement and also their confidence in art because once they could see that they could create artwork without the need of sight all the time, it made them think more about um, memorising an image and, and really thinking about what an image looked like as opposed to what they thought it looked like. It increased all the creativity skills that we're looking for in young people when we teach them art and design. So I think it was quite a valuable lesson on sort of many levels. This work could be continued by looking at the work of more disabled artists and by looking at the disability arts movement worldwide.